This is the prototype valve assembly for the Barbot 2013 device I'm making called the Cocktail Engine. It's pretty simple. We have a 555 circuit over here, which is sending pulse width signals to this servo, which turns this laser cut sprocket through the chain drive to another sprocket. This one mounted on a ball valve, which can open or close, letting liquid flow through into this bucket. So, once I turn on the power, by pushing this switch, it's changing the timing constant, making this sprocket turn roughly 180 degrees from one extreme to the other through this two to one reduction. So this ball valve is turning 90 degrees or all the way closed to all the way open, letting something flow. Of course, in the final version, it won't be water up in the reservoir here. It'll be a mixer or an alcoholic beverage. And it won't be controlled by manual switches like this. There'll be a punch card that the user can make specifying the contents of the drink that they want. And there'll be 16 of these all together, allowing for a wide range of drinks to be made. So let's turn on the power and show it off. Get that going. So, as you can hear from the hum, it's now active. This servo is now actively trying to stay in this position which is the off. The default position is, of course, off. And then if I turn push this, va this switch, it'll go to the other side. And now the valve is open, and liquid is flowing. So that's off. And on again. And off. The motion isn't quite as fast as I would like. But uh, faster servers are probably too expensive since everything's going to be multiplied by 16, and I think this will work. So that's that's where it is for this early in the game for Barbot. I'm pretty happy with it. So look for the cocktail engine from Parsec there sometime next year, and I'll catch you later.